how does your city manage water? With pipes or with streams? With concrete or with grass? Engineering gives us running water and sanitation and so many essential parts of modern life, but what can natural water management solutions do to help with water security? The urban water cycle is different from the natural water cycle you've learned about. Water is channeled through pipes and concrete to get to and from residents and businesses. We call this gray infrastructure because of all the concrete involved. In the natural water cycle, rainfall and snow melt flow through natural water courses like rivers or trickle into the ground and eventually evaporate, go into the aquifer or to the sea. A lot of people are now calling the use of natural materials to restore the natural water cycle green infrastructure. And we won't make you guess why. Modern water management is usually three separate systems. Drinking water from surface reservoirs or underground aquifers. Wastewater systems to take used water to be treated at a sewage treatment plant. And stormwater systems to drain lots of water very quickly. Engineering has allowed us to have a constant supply of useful water and enabled used polluted water to be treated. But all the concrete in cities and surrounding areas, what we call impermeable surfaces, stops water from draining into the ground. When most of Washington DC's sewer system was built, Abraham Lincoln had only been dead half a decade. Until recently, both sewage and stormwater flowed through the same pipes, so heavy rains resulted in sewage going straight into the city's rivers, and very heavy rains often caused flooding. Like in many cities, lots of concrete surfaces make the problem worse. Here's where natural green infrastructure can help. Natural materials in rain gardens, green roofs, and even urban wetlands can slow down and filter polluted runoff before it makes its way into our streams and lakes. To see just how helpful a rain garden like this one can be, take a look at this demonstration. When you have a piece of concrete or asphalt, like this core from a New York City street, you can see that the surface doesn't absorb water. That's what ends up flooding the streets and carrying pollutants to rivers. But a natural area, represented by this plant, absorbs and slowly releases water while filtering and cleaning it. That's what green infrastructure can do on a larger scale. Projects like rain gardens, tree planting, and native plant gardens can be undertaken by schools and community members. They create jobs increase property values, reduce noise pollution and heat, and they help up the economy and communities, especially ones most vulnerable to the impacts of growing cities and a changing climate, by creating healthy and enjoyable urban spaces where people can connect with nature and have access to clean air and water. In some cases, nature can even deliver some of the benefits gray infrastructure provides and it can do it cheaper. So choosing green solutions, as well as gray, can be an incredible, sustainable solution to water security. Find out more about water security and tons of other topics at nature.org slash nature lab.